So, hi, hello everybody. Um, this is your professor um, back again. And um, by the time, well, we are starting our second module now, which will be on the major early river valley civilizations. And, and, and uh, by the time you're hearing me on, on this module, you will have taken your um, geography quizzes and other quizzes. And I'm really, really delighted that you have your geography quizzes under your, I mean, you have your geographies now, hopefully all of you under your belts, you know, you know, you know, the various regions of, um, parts of the globe that we are um, treading on and so on and so forth. So I want, uh, now that you know um, your geography, um, I want to take you through at least two continents, right, um, that, uh, that, uh, that saw the first... Um, well, not only the first settlements, but settlements that were intensive enough, right, um, to lead to agricultural settlements that were intensive enough to lead to urbanization and then create other conditions that were conducive to the development of civilization with all the elements that we talked about uh, belonging to a civilization in the first module, right? Um, the creation of um, of urban conglomerates, the creation of laws and legal uh, systems, the creation of um, you know uh, specializations in labor. Um, monumental architectures, the development of sciences, and so on and so forth, right? Um, so the question is, how did the first civilizations, how and where did the first human civilizations develop, right, developed? And in order to answer that, well, for to that question, the one simple answer is that if we are taking the civilizational model as a point of reference, right, and I kind of briefly pointed out to you that this is not the only model, right, I mean, um, the so-called, um, you know, um, non-civilizational approach, I mean, that non-civilizational approach gives as much credit, credit, credence, right, and to um, you know, to societies that that at the moment are are engaging in um, hunting and gathering, for example, because they have laws, they have religious systems, and so on and so forth, right? Okay. Um. So, so the answer to that qu a simple question of where did the first civilizations develop is that in two continents, right? One in the uh, the great, uh, you know, one in the second largest continent uh, um, on the globe, i.e. Africa, and uh, and the others in um, the largest, so to speak, continent of the our globe, right, Asia, right? Um, so, and you see, you know, um, you see the the concentrations of colors that you see, right, um, in, on this map in front of you, gives you an idea of where these civilizations, civilizations were. And you, you, when you just look at the map, right, shows you that um, major civilizations, right, um, the first major civilizations to, took place in Africa and Asia, right? I mean, three civilizations here uh, took shape in Asia besides the civilization of um, of Africa, right? So now the, the, the question is, um, you know, um, uh, why in, in these places specifically 
in Asia, right, and Africa did this civilization, these original civilizations developed, right? So we had left our, our, our story around 10,000 BCE, right, around the time that um, our human ancestors on their march out of Africa, right, or within Africa itself, once Africa began to be dried, dry, drying up a little, right, and it created the Sahara, for instance, right, to um, to to the east of uh, east of the Nile, right. Uh, we'll see the Sahara. We will talk about it later, right. Uh, and populations began to come, and you know, on their marches, right. Um, out of um, Africa, they began to come closer, and in the case of Africa, they began to settle closer and closer in the Nile, around the Nile, on the banks of the Nile, right? So that they created um, agricultural settlements uh, in the banks of the Nile, right? Uh, but, but, the, so why the Nile, right? What was why why was what was so special about Africa and the Nile? Well, <laughs> what was special about uh, about um, the Egyptian and and the uh, basically East African um, part of Africa was that one of the longest rivers of the world, right, the Nile actually passed through it, right? So that's usually the first human settlements that we see, right, um, all over the globe are, are near sources of water, in this case, near major river, uh, river valleys, right? Um, so, and, and, you know, I mean, that, that is why, for instance, you know, um, New York City developed in next to the Hudson and New Jersey, this, the same, and so on and so forth. So 10,000 BCE, people begin to come towards these major river um, civil, valley civilizations, and you will see one of them is in Africa, right, uh, Egypt and the Nile. The other one moving east is the Tigris, Tigris, and to the east, and then Euphrates on the west, right? E.T. going to Iran, yeah. Um, so, um, yeah, the next, uh, well, another, uh, like, major concentration of human settlement, right, in what was called um, uh, the Fertile, oops, sorry, um, the Fertile Crescent, right? I mean, actually, um, basically, this part, right? Um, okay, so uh, so two river valley civilizations right there, right? Where uh, one in Africa, one in Western Asia, right? Eastern Asia being here, Western Asia being around this area, right? Excuse me, my friends. So, so the the uh, river valley civilization, as and, and as you move east, right? Um, you you come across the. Um, the river valley civilization of the Indus River, right? Indus River, and we're going to talk about it more, right? The Indus River, um, which currently kind of forms uh, sort of the boundary between uh, um, Pakistan and India, and it is one major river to which there are tributaries, and we will see talk about these right and and they come into the arabian sea the nile comes to from its sources and um in ethiopia and uganda uh right it it, it comes 
to the Mediterranean Sea, the Tigris and Euphrates fall into the Persian Gulf from where they get to the Arabian Sea, right? And finally, the Huanghe River Valley civilization, the Yellow River Valley, a uh, Yellow River um, Valley civilization of of China in eastern China, based on the um, Huang, and I'm terribly uh, mispronouncing it. I apologize from my Chinese students, my friends. Yeah, um, it's actually more like Huang He, uh, if I'm not mistaken. At any rate, so um, so by three thousand BCE, right? You you start by ten thousand from ten thousand BCE, and by three thousand BCE, the settlements, right, that you have created, right, and what once you what what do we mean by creation of settlement? You have started engaging in agriculture, as you have read in your. Um, textbook, right? Um, and you you gradually, uh, and you know you you that means that you have domesticated plants already, right? So that you can uh, live on subsistence farming, mostly on subsistence farming, i.e., you cultivate and you eat, and then you know you begin to learn how to how to master, right, the various rivers next to which you have settled, right, and you begin making, um, you know, uh, making more and more land, bringing more and more land under co cultivation, your population grows, right, and then you, be, you get to a point where um, you can feed, um, everybody not only can you feed everybody right but but uh, you can uh, you 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 have excessive products right excessive products right so that's that that's when you know communities like one village starts to sort of exchange uh, agricultural goods with the next village and so on and so forth okay but food stuff you cannot carry that far, right? Because usually they spoil, right? So, um, so basically you are making a surplus for the population that you have. This now, once once you, i.e., surplus. What did, what does that mean? It means you are creating wealth, right? Uh, surplus agriculture means wealth, right? You can take that surplus. And 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 you know and then and then tell a sector of your population, listen, right? Um, or or sectors of the population will automatically assume the role of of um, not engaging in cultivation, right? And so once you start, when once you stop um, engaging in cultivation, as we have. We are doing at the moment, right? We get our breads from from the bakery. We get our produce from the um, from um, from the supermarkets. We get our milk and 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 uh, and dairy products from the sec. Uh, uh, supermarket, which means, right, if you're talking about dairy products and, and, and meat and whatnot, means, also means that you have, um, you have, um, have um, animals, you have domesticated animals, you not only you have um, domesticated your plants, right? But you have begun to domesticate your animals. For instance, you're probably using um, cattle in order to, um, you know, uh, sort of plow your land and so on and so forth. And, you know, cattle becomes a very, becomes also, right, uh, sort of, um, um, 
a part of your wealth, right? And, and, and the minute you settle, right? In fact, you can accumulate wealth right including your agricultural products and and including your uh, your cattle from which you get dairy products and and you know and then you you engage in in um in with populations who rather not settle one place but who rather sort of um you know um be on the move um, constantly with their cattle and whatnot, 